Hello to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover British Pound versus US Dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US Dollar. I will start with the British Pound versus US Dollar first and this is the hourly time frame. What we have here is that market is building basically a contraction here. Uh, we can see that we have a series of the higher lows but now we are trying to set up kind of the first lower high and market is kind of stuck in this consolidation we had a breakout of the supply trend line in the background and market was basically holding uh, the rally and building higher highs and higher lows we still didn't break the key supply trend line which is a major uh, supply trend line dictating from the mid-july uh, this year so uh, from from this perspective here, um, like if we speak about our two scenarios, one for down, one for up. So the scenario for down is the market can really go below 1.2270, which is important pivot support for the pound dollar at this point. If market can trade below and have a, a relatively weak reaction on the upside, there is a chance for the lower prices towards the 1.2170 or even towards the 1.2100. Uh, 105, 106 area. That's a scenario for the downside. Scenario for the upside, of course, if the market can break this to the upside and also break the, uh, this bigger supply trend line and hold above, that's a good sign for potential higher prices and maybe even for the market to go all the way to the key area and key cluster where you got a major reaction to the background. So that's area around 1.2550 and uh, 1.2. Uh, uh, 600 mark. Now speaking of the gold market, uh, basically market reached our upside objective in the upside scenario. Uh, we spoke about this uh, in uh, my previous session, uh, an update when there was a breakout and we, we gave a very good odds for the market to reach this one, um, 1880 mark. So that happened and at this point I would like to see some kind of correction for the further higher prices because market is already uh, trading up in up cycle in the last, let's say, 10, 15 hours. So we will see how this, um, there is also this mini rising trend line, the most recent one. And there is a, this one that is dictating from this area here. So probably for the upside, you know, some kind of the pullback, if the pullback will be like narrow or with not so much power and market to recontinue to the upside, retake the high, then there is a chance for the a higher price is towards the 1,900 mark potentially. Uh, from the other side, if we see some bigger sell-off and uh, the market to break this uh, rising trend line and you know even try to take below 1865 and hold below, then there is a chance for the lower prices maybe towards the gap area around 1843, 1835. But for now. The buyers are in control. Uh, the price is trading and above the, this mini rising trend line and this uh, main one at this point trend line. So um, the odds and the, the trend is to the upside, but uh, I will still like to see what kind of a pullback we will have and if the pullback will be shallow and if we can have continuation, then there is a higher price potential. <laughs> Crude oil. So we spoke about this console, uh, a contraction, uh, more like a symmetrical triangle after the gap up. And we sat to watch for the breakouts in order to confirm direction. And at this point, yesterday, basically, we got a downside breakout and objective reach because uh, that was a play for the gap fill. Uh, market actually filled the gap, dropped all the way down to 83 and reached that downside objective based on that downside scenario. But here, as you can see, around 82, uh, 90, 83 mark, the market actually started with a new buying. Um, so there is early morning buyers just around the previous day low. So this might be the good sign for the, some rotation uh, up, uh, potentially towards the, the recent swing lows. Uh, that's one of the scenarios here for so the market to rotate towards the swing lows from this consolidation. Now, anything meaningful to the downside, I would like to see the breakdown of this area below 81, uh, 80 mark and then hold below to confirm further downside price. 
and eventually the downside price and the, some downside objectives probably around 78 50 mark and uh, 79 mark so that is the current uh, condition on the, on the crude oil and the bitcoin is also uh, something we uh, i mentioned uh, in the previous session the breakdown of the descending triangle and it's progressing very well and we spoke about a downside objective around uh, 25000 um let's say 26000 mar and 25400 mar so so far sellers are in control we have this let's say supply trend line and market is just building and rallying to the previous swing lows finding more sellers rally to the previous swing low finding more sellers so it seems like sellers absolutely establish the control at this point and that this is a more more like more likely scenario to happen now scenario for upside of course if market aggressively rotate take this supply trend line a trade above 27,300 and hold above, then there is a chance for the higher prices, maybe towards 28,000 mark. That'll be all for this update, guys. I hope that you did enjoy. Have a good trading day and um, speak to you from tomorrow morning.